नमस्ते मैडम गुड इवनिंग वी कैन स्टार्ट नमस्ते नमस्कार आनंद जी प्लेजर टू हैव थैंक यू सो मच मैम नाइस मीटिंग ऑल ऑफ यू थैंक यू वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन एंड वार्म वेलकम टू 39th वाटर टॉक बीइंग ऑर्गेनाइज्ड बाय नेशनल वाटर मिशन एंड इट्स सपोर्टेड बाय वाटर डाइजेस्ट सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट द प्रोग्राम लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द जर्नी ऑफ नेशनल वाटर मिशन गंगे च यमुने च गोदावरी सरस्वती कावेरी नर्मदे सिंधु जलस्मीन सन्निधिम कुरु जल ईश्वर स्वरूप है सौम्य शालीन जीवनदायक प्रकृति का दिया ये जल रूपी वरदान पृथ्वीवासियों के लिए सिर्फ एक विरासत नहीं बल्कि एक जिम्मेदारी है जिसे आने वाली पीढ़ी के लिए संभालना आवश्यक है और इस उद्देश्य की ओर पूरी निष्ठा से कार्य कर रहा है राष्ट्रीय जल मिशन जल शक्ति मंत्रालय भारत सरकार खेती के उपयोग में आने वाले पानी का अधिकतम उपयोग हो इस दृष्टिकोण से मंत्रालय माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी के मार्गदर्शन में काम कर रहा है और हमने नेशनल वाटर मिशन में 20 प्रतिशत तक पानी के उपयोग में कमी लाने का लक्ष्य रखा है सतह पर जो जल उपलब्ध है उसका उचित प्रबंधन भूगर्भ के जो हमारे स्रोत हैं उनका ठीक से उपभोग हो जो पानी हम अलग अलग क्षेत्र में उपयोग में लेते हैं उसका विवेकपूर्ण उपयोग हो और उसके साथ साथ में जो पानी उपयोग के बाद में निकलता है उसका ठीक से ट्रीटमेंट हो तो हम जल सुरक्षित देश को बना सकते हैं जलवायु परिवर्तन का विशेष ध्यान रखते हुए नेशनल एक्शन प्लान ऑन क्लाइमेट चेंज के तहत नेशनल वाटर मिशन की स्थापना की गई ताकि जल संरक्षण को बढ़ावा मिले जल की बर्बादी को कम किया जा सके और राज्यों के भीतर एवं राज्यों के बीच जल का अधिक समान रूप से वितरण सुनिश्चित किया जा सके So very good afternoon. Like I said, 39th Water Talk today, uh, being organised by National Water Mission, Ministry of Jal Shakti, and is supported by Water Digest. I'm Anu Khan, the director and editor of Water Digest, and it's a proud moment that we are also part of this wonderful initiative of Ministry of Jal Shakti. While the series of Water Talk has seen various important topics, which were Uh, where there were deliberations given by wonderful speakers, we, whether we talk about groundwater management, we talk about surface water management, we talking about reviving the water bodies. We have seen um, the wonderful case studies where individuals have taken the initiatives and brought the community together. Be it Hibri Bazaar, or we talk about a uh, Banda district in UP, where we've seen how the community has improved their respective water resources. And today. in that series we have a wonderful topic which is importance and rejuvenation of water bodies naturally and we are proud to have with us mr anand malikwar popularly known as lake man of india welcome uh, anand ji and uh, before we start the program and hand it over to anand ji for hearing his insights and the way he has contributed in reviving various lakes i now request devashri uh, ma'am a mission director and additional secretary a ministry of jal shakti for her opening remarks over to you debushima thank you very much anupama ji um anand ji uh, it is a great pleasure to welcome you to this forum and it is an honor to have you on water talk uh i think anand ji is um you know today share the sharing the work that he does with all the uh, listeners all the people who watch water talk is particularly appropriate at this moment because we can see various parts of the country struggling with extreme precipitation events we are struggling with urban flooding and we are seeing gujarat we are seeing we are seeing the, the assam we are seeing say, you know in southern india there are multiple cities that are struggling with urban flooding at this point and with climate change extreme precipitation events are going to be more and more common so we need to find ways to manage urban flooding flooding in general but specifically urban flooding because there we we see huge damage within a small vicinity so therefore anand ji's talk today is particularly 
appropriate, particularly timely, and I think will be a learning experience for all of us. Um, I, I think most of the listeners here are aware that we, since 2019, the government is, uh, is implementing through the National Water Mission, the Jal Shakti Abhiyan Catch the Rain. This is prior to, uh, to, the, uh, to the onset of the monsoons. This is to nudge all stakeholders, states, districts, resident welfare associations, um, everybody who's involved in water management and water security to prepare for the rain so that, the, so that we can make use of as much water as we can, conserve as much water as we can, recharge our groundwater, ensure that our surface water bodies are full, and at the same time, therefore, mitigate the impact of the extreme events, the, the huge amounts of rainfall that we see within a very short time that are being caused by climate change. One of the major priority areas, and with this we have been pushing for the last three years, and we have seen some success of the uh, Jal Shakti Abhiyan, is mapping and geotagging all water bodies. Now, I think all of us know that if water bodies are not mapped, geotags, and entered into revenue records, they tend to disappear. If the community does not take charge of the water body, if the community is not involved in the management of the water body, water bodies become irrelevant, they become dirty, polluted, and eventually they get built over, and we get the same issues of, you know, uh, so groundwater recharge is reduced, surface water storage is reduced, and uh, overall water security of the community is impacted. I'm also happy to report that Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs is issuing, um, has, has actually prepared a database, geotag database of water bodies in 500 cities, which will help administrators, local residents, everybody to identify where the water, water body is and also look at the change in the water body year on year. Our water talks, are a way of bringing in people who have, who have worked in the field, who have shown through their actions how to improve water management. I have had the privilege of uh, hearing a young colleague of Anandji's who came to our uh, recent, uh, uh, recent conference of civil society organizations. So I am abreast of, of his work. And I, I think that all our listeners, people who are joining us today, will be, will be extremely enriched by what he has to share with us. Over to you now, Anandji, and thank you. So just to, before Anandji starts, a quick background of uh, Mr. Anand. Uh, Take it on Lake conservation, uh, Conservationist, who believes in the tagline, it's time to care before streams are bare. Born, uh, born in a small village, uh, of the Kopal district of Northern Karnataka, who has worked constantly and through his efforts, he has revived almost 15 lakes ecologically. And the plan is he wishes to rejuvenate about 35 more lakes by 2025. So uh, without further ado, I will hand it over to uh, Mr. Anand, who will be sharing how he has done it where and how all this has started, what was his journey, what are his technical interventions which he is applying as far as restoration of these water bodies is, are concerned. Also, he'll be showcasing the couple of water bodies, the lakes which he has revived during the course of the time. So over to you, Anandji. Thank you. So namaste, all of you. And uh, good evening, all of you. Uh, spending your quality time towards Mother Earth. So. Uh, hats of uh, Jal Shakti Ministry and uh, central government is spending so much of time and uh, energy, cost, you know, a lot of uh, people involvement in it, right? See, last five, six years, uh, I've seen, you know, drastic change and a huge awareness in the people, actually. Uh, water talk ho and uh, the social media campaigns, you know, people awareness and the uh, Namami Gange, you know, all Amrut, Sarovar, of projects like uh, it has become a great moment actually across the country uh, 
uh, in fact like uh, uh, three two three years back before uh, uh, pandemic uh, you know like a swachh bharat campaign you know how it went off it is even uh, this uh, catch the rain where it falls this campaign you know it's it's much effective and reached everyone and uh, even small small kids they ask me uh, that uh, uncle aapo water revive kar raha hai kya jal shakti ministry itna mehnat kar humne ye talk dekha wo talk dekha unhone aisa kiya aur bahut sare especially like south indian channel we did not know bauli guli and all right alag alag variety ka jo water bodies hote kisi ko pata nahi tha actually so hats off to jal shakti ministry and the national water mission all are one only see we have different different name but we are our goal and the aim is one only okay so thank you so much uh, for me uh, being here and uh, giving me opportunity thank you so much and uh, what i'll do is uh, generally i'll start with presentation i uh, and uh, in the presentation they talk about what is the process what are the things they follow to achieve this and what is the result now i am thinking like first i want to show you the result then i will show you you know what i will uh, what i have done to achieve this so this is the thing and uh, so great that uh, you know huge support from the community corporates government you know like uh, fact central government is uh, pushing me a lot right for example amrut uh, sarovar and all uh, up orissa like uh, meghalaya like all the states i have been uh, present because of you because everywhere you people are spreading and uh, seeing that you know uh, we we will be more engaged and we get more opportunity to work and also we can bring big transformation and all changes like uh, last uh, two days back orissa government entire senior citizens and uh, sorry senior officials they all joined and uh, they visited my lakes like almost they are uh, rejuvenating 1400 lakes and uh, their principal secretary additional secretary joint secretaries all engineers chief engineers they all visited they were so happy they were proud they said that uh, see mindset is changed from the beautification of lake to rejuvenation of the lake it is because of you people because earlier people were thinking that only uh, rejuvenation means beautification uh, just walking track jogging track curb stone you know like uh, all these things yes they are all required to engage the community uh, then then only lakes and water bodies will survive but that is not the core now we are talking about pure on water so especially on rain water rain water harvesting lot of projects are getting implemented across different different states i have been interacting with all the states most of the experts you know government officials and so alert there and uh, so eagerly working and they are enjoying this with this work in fact uh, i visited uh, 15 days back kanpur i seen earlier kanpur i seen now kanpur right namami gange you know that ganga project earlier we used to see black color horrible water and all right now i went and washed my face i just you know like you can touch the water you can feel the quality it is all because of biggest not by sp government is spending money and putting effort to remove and uh, this is a big awareness they brought it is become a people moment see like uh, now we were talking about green planet now you are making it a blue planet so it's great moment so just i'll going to show you one small uh, uh, one lake i'll show you like how it was how i did and how it is changed right to achieve that then in ppt i'll going to show what are the technical and scientific things i followed right that is the case today i'll going to show just for two, one minute just you can have a video uh yeah okay see this is one of the lake called uh, margonadi lake which recently rejuvenated and uh, if you see this lake uh, it was in a pathetic horrible condition it was like a, it was having about a, uh eight to 12 mld sewage entering in and uh last few years it was dead actually see it was like this full of fire scene full of sludge there is no capacity holding right and you can see the dry fire scene and all it was in a pathetic condition and in fact it is after dewatering actually if you see uh after dewatering it is this situation and uh, if you see one more small video yeah 
you can see here, or to dewatering of around eight feet of sewage. So this was the condition. So this particular lake, like a uh, last few years, you know, we tried our level best to rejuvenate it. You know, like uh, we tried all the activated microbes, these, that, and the everything we tried, we didn't succeed. Finally, we took a call to completely, you know, dewater, desilt, and uh, separate, you know, rainwater and sewage water. So how we separate and all in next present session, presentation slides, I'm going to show you. And with the help of JSW Foundation, we started this lake from the uh, October 9th within 72 working days. We brought this lake to this level. Here you will not going to find any concrete except pipes and below pipe that concrete and you will not find any grills or anything, only soil, water and aquatic plants. What you were seeing is this is a sewage water full MLD, which we separated uh, sewage water, which we separated rainwater lake. What you are seeing in the front is a complete rainwater lake. So 80% of the rainwater lake is connected to all rainwater catchments. And the left side, what you see is there is a natural filtration system. Right, so we have a lagoon one, lagoon two. Next pictures I'm going to show you uh, how we have created lagoon, how we are using aquatic plants. Right, like uh, how we trap plastic, thermocol, pet bottles, then how we created canal, how we put a hydrophonics concept of floating wetlands, and how we get purified. That I'll show you. So this is what we did, and uh, after that, the, it looks like this. See, this is one of the lake called Bingipura Lake, which we rejuvenated one year back. When we rejuvenated, before it was like this, after muddy and kind of thing, and uh, later on how we changed this to control this soil erosion we do not use any stone pitching concretes grills or anything we keep a natural slope of one is to four and uh, this is the plant called vadelia plant and uh, it never grow very invasive and uh, nine months it will have a flower it is zero maintenance it never allows any weed to grow other including parthenium whole nine months it will be like this and you can see water quality the lake. So we use very, very, very less, uh, you know, stones and other things because stone will heat up the water and they increase the evaporation and definitely it never help for the ecosystem. Only to control the soil erosion, we put a, uh, this stone pitching and it is a huge cost. So my goal is that less cost, less time and, you know, simple way and sustainable way, how we can rejuvenate the lake. You can see this is the water quality and with a native species of fruits flowers medicinal plants right flower bearings so this can be done and here there is one one garden for 29 acres of lake right there is no much maintenance we never maintained it we never cut it and as per me what's supposed to be lake water you can see here see this margondon early lake where you seen first video, it has become like this now. So my aim is that instead of working on beautification of concretization, steel structures, open gym, other things and all, I want to work on water. I want to have a crystal clear water, good quality aquatic life. There's supposed to be nice forest around it. And they're supposed to be, you know, like a ecosystem built naturally so that they recharge the aquifers, they help for the you know, the birds, butterflies, bees, all 84 four species, water bodies are the main sources. You see the water quality of this lake. So like this, 15 projects I completed, which is almost 280 acres of barren land and sludge area, 1,850 crores of water holding capacity I created, around 32 uh, villages it got help more than 18,500 borewells has been recharged and uh, 
uh, here uh, one uh, special thing is most of the uh, 13 lakhs are rejuvenated under the corporate CSR support of you know lot of corporates supported and also two lakhs I did with the uh, uh, this thing uh, uh, with the crowdfunding so I didn't spend money from the uh, any government or anything so these are all CSR projects and uh, now I'm going to show you like how this can be done and how we achieved it right so I'll just open my slide yes so this is you can able to see the screen right so this is my lake uh, it is with a forest grass you know good quality water island for the birds like that so I basically work on urban semi-urban and rural lakes there are three type of lakes right so urban lakes, if you see, most of them are highly encroached, built, and they are very expensive to clear the encroachment. And also they are highly contaminated. And we are trying to rejuvenate these lakes, you know, purify the water with the uh, natural biological sewage treatment, which, uh, you know, without electricity, STP, chemicals, or anything, uh, how we can purify the water, that is what I'm working. The few lakes, I've already done it, and also, uh, out of this sewage water, you know, kids are swimming in it. So up to that level, we brought. If, if, you, if you go to Anand Malikot YouTube, you can see kids are swimming in the treated water, right? And second one is semi-urban lake. They are partially encroached, actually. If you see, uh, they, now this apartment views, these, that, and all coming, they started connecting sewage into it, and slowly they are encroaching. So uh, uh, that is the condition. And uh, they are about to contaminate now. And uh, uh, there, what we are doing, there are two type of lakes, one dry dead lakes, one filled with sewage lakes, right? Dry dead lakes we are taking up and we desilting it. And most of the channels has been closed and uh, encroached. We are opening it and trying to bring more water and trying to hold the water entire 12 months so that there'll be good water to create a microclimate as well as uh, percolating and uh, recharging the aquifers. And uh, rural lakes, uh, they are also partially encroached. There is no much buildings and all. It is easy to clear the encroachment. And uh, they are also contaminated like urban lakes because of huge utilization of the fertilizer, pesticides, and you know, a lot of biomass from the uh, you know, uh, uh, agriculture land. And as well as a lot of village roads are concretized and uh, they are all uh, sewage and plastic. Everything is flowing into these lakes and uh, they are also in the same pathetic condition. And uh, basic process of lake rejuvenation, which I follow, actually different, different pe people, they follow different, different type of methodologies to implement, achieve their goals, right? So what I do is, first we identify the lake. Uh, to identify the lake, what I do is I go to Google uh, Maps and I'll check what are the water bodies available. I make a list. And also, uh, second, in Bangalore, uh, in Karnataka, there is one app called Dishank. Dishank is the best app, which it is a survey app. Uh, you know, just if you open that app and start moving around, it will show you the border areas of the lake, everything it can show you. So I use Dishank app. And also, I, I take a lot of citizens' help, actually. So I go meet people. They tell me, sir, our village, we have map. Our village, we have lake. Here we have Kunta, here you have Pond and all. What I tell them is simple. I ask them to go to that lake and send a WhatsApp location. Enough. So under, once they send a WhatsApp location, then I start researching on that lake. And I go into Google. I check the topography, how city is there, what kind of uh, surrounding catchment is there. I check that. And after that, uh, I visit that lake and observe. Uh, observe that water quality, how it is. It is a rainwater or it is getting dried up in summer, or how is the flora fauna surrounding, what is the catchment available surrounding, and also uh, inflow of the water. Based on the inflow of water, we check what is back. Say, for example, inflow, you can get a lot of witnesses, right? So you will get uh, some seed, straw, something, a lot of things. You know, based on that, we can observe that, okay, what is backside. If there is a sewage entry and other thing, based on that, we judge. And also, uh, after that, I engage the community. I go, I talk to villagers, I make a team, I, uh, I like-minded people will join me. Uh, it is immaterial, like uh, there is no uh, kids or middle age or old age. So all I take them into conference, I create a team. Then I go to each and every, uh, you know, uh, 
crook and corner i gather the lot of information from them so how this lake was 40 years back like what were you doing how was agriculture what were the fishes were there what was the tree were there up to where water spread area was there right you, whether you were using it for drinking bathing or animal all those data i collect with the uh, people and after that i create a basic plan of rejuvenation like a detailed project report it cannot be too uh, very big kind of thing uh, we create a basic design like for example uh, this entire lake survey map we take when the, we make one small drawing like a uh, uh, how lake you know it's supposed to be generated what is the equipments cost all those things we make on the project report after that we start pitching for the uh, funds uh, most of the my friends are like a csr and crowdfunding and uh, nowadays of course uh, now i am working with uh, different different states different different stakeholders like with i am working with governments right so once that is done then i start talking to governments that this is what the lakes this is what the pond and uh, this is what the cost required and uh, uh, can you i will help in uh, you know executing and can you join me that way that is done and uh, basic approvals we take there are uh, bbmp limit lakes bda limit lakes right there is a jilla panchayat minor irrigation ktcda gram panchayat but most powerful is gram panchayat what i do is i go to gram panchayat i join with members i call chairman pdo secretaries and all i spend with time with them i explain them how it's supposed to be done after that i take team into the lake so i tell them we plan then i get approval once approval is in my hand then we do uh, uh, every house i go generally uh, like 450 500 houses i go i go and i tell them that see this is what we are trying to do this is what our plan is uh, we need your support we need your because it's supposed to be uh, your lake and uh, you should be owner of it not anand maliwad or whoever corporate rejuvenating it should be people lake so all those things i engage i do on small bhumi pujan then first job what i do is i do deweeding like deweeding means not removing native uh, you know sort of plants which good plants and all like uh, most of the uh, areas you will get a parthenium lantana you know such kind of invasive plants we do deweeding and uh, after that we start dewatering like uh, if that lake is already having a dirt water and all we do dewatering while dewatering process slowly we daily daily basis we reduce little little water and uh, after that we start the desilting in desilting there will be about uh, three layers i will going to tell in next slides and uh, after that we take up burn strengthening whatever desilting we do uh, we utilize this entire mud into burn burn strengthening and uh, we never give uh, any mud to anyone uh, because these are all urban areas we don't want to take a risk you know me, people may use this mud into commercial purpose and all like especially in uh, villages and all i heard that uh, they take it for farming land and all because this is a rich nutrient very good soil but in bangalore city i didn't given anyone so whatever 3 lakh 4 lakh or 2 lakh cubic meter mud we remove we create a bund around the lake and uh, one certain thing then we work on inlets and outlets we dug up lot of rajnalas kilometers together see that uh, we do survey we lot of people are encoached we clear the encoachment and uh, we create a silt trap before entering into lake and we put our pipes so that plastic biomass or any silt should not enter into the lake and uh, we create a uh, like a, a lagoons right lagoons so that we can trap the all biomass and pure water should go to the lake and also same way outlet also uh, we recondition it uh, generally we do not touch two areas one is inlet and one is waste ware levels say waste ware and inlet if you make it up and down then entire thing will get imbalanced right basically like a, uh, if you reduce the uh, height of the inlet then lake water holding capacity will reduce if you increase it then back flooding will be there same way waste ware waste ware side if you do imbalance there will be so we keep both standard and inside we work more deeper or whatever need needed and also after that uh, we in the slopes generally people do st stone pitching uh, so stone pitching we don't do it because uh, you blast some hill and uh, you disturb the plate and also you burn fossil fuel increase the carbon footprint and bring it to the lake and uh, it is a fatigue job of it is a lot of time consuming days and you do stone pitching to only control the soil erosion
so soil erosion control and also it is a huge cost you see like a 1 crore 1 and a half crore rupees only stone pitching it will be cost so our idea is in a less cost less time sustainable way we do it and ecologically so that we can do more number of clicks and we more number of beneficiaries will be getting benefited so that way uh, this odelia plants also we don't bring it from nursery we go to some canals and uh, some of lakes areas and all we put a labor we pluck it from there and we plant it every one on feet one on feet and we water them 12 days or maximum 15 days after that they all get spread once it is spread you you need not to maintain it so it will take its own it control the soil erosion it also bring a lot of bees and butterflies increase the pollinators and it is a uh, it won't allow any invasive plants and also a lot of benefit it gives so orelia plantation we do in slopes so that uh, then uh, then uh, the 14th item is tree plantation we plant all native fruits flower bearing and medicinal plants so that we will not even to use any of the uh, ornamental and other plants and also uh, in tree plantation we use lot of volunteers actually in lake rejuvenation we don't use any volunteers except initially some plug run and other things and removing plastic papers and all, some volunteering purpose we use otherwise we use earth mowers trucks jcb and such a heavy equipment so that work can be done faster because my all the lakes are rejuvenated in a mag, mi, minimum is 45 days maximum is 72 days less than 72 days we complete it so that way uh, to speed up the work uh, humans it is very difficult what we do is in a plantation there should not be any automation there is no automation at all it should be planted with love and affection so that trees and plants will grow well and a lot of students we bring in techie employees surrounding villagers a lot of people we bring in and uh, do volunteering and uh, next is developing aquaculture uh, basically like uh, uh, we do not bring uh, any fishes from the uh, aquariums sorry fisheries department and they are for multi uh, for eating purpose and uh, they grow big and all what we do is from one lake to other lake we try to transfer the native fishes like native fishes they survive longer time and uh, uh, they are also good for the uh, aquaculture so also we try to retain existing uh, any water is there if there is a life uh, you know while desilting itself we create a separate area uh, there we move the water you know like uh, all the fishes and all they we keep safely there once again rain water fills again it will start multiplying that is also we do and uh, another thing is we do not use any stp or anything we method follow the method of natural sewage treatment system uh, that i'll going to explain you how it will going to work this is the basic 16 items which we follow and it is a generic and uh, if you see this is not a standard like uh, for example each lake and catchment topography condition soil condition right and uh, surrounding hutments based on that keep on changing like my 23 lakes are guys got 23 designs right it cannot be just standard patternized so what i do is based on the different different lake situation we design different different concepts so that they all become model lake they can sustain you know uh, scientifically and technically and also uh, all the youngsters youth who wants to rejuvenate their lake and they can just compare this model and they can implement it so that way we do and uh, okay so if you see design uh, parameters uh, if you see whatever water body uh, water spread area is there we never reduce it in fact we increase the water spread area but there are a lot of encroachment 99% of the lakes are encroached and once we clear the encroachment there will be different odd shapes and all those odd shapes whatever desilted mud we remove and we create a native forest in it so 80% uh, of the water body 20% uh, of the afforestation so that it bring a see water and a, a forest is there then automatically wildlife will going to increase right and also desilting if you see there will be about three layers of different different soils in especially bangor and other areas first you will have a clay around 1 to 1.5 meters roughly i seen there is a clay somewhere 900 there is a clay that is a very rich nutrient and a very good for fertilizer except if there is no any uh, heavy metals chemicals or anything is not there so if it is chemicals or anything is there heavy metal is there toxins is there then it is not good but most of our lakes are sewage lakes so we remove that layer and use it for afforestation purpose all around the lake 
and uh, so that uh, we don't use any fertilizers and other thing for our forest and second layer is clay with gravel we take we create a walking track maybe one small island which island should not be created in everywhere reason is it reduce the water holding capacity islands so out of 30 lakes or 20 lakes surrounding one lake we design for only birds we create a more islands so that uh, it will help for the birds right so uh, then third layer is gravel so what we do is uh, instead of putting a interlocking tile curbstone or anything we put a uh, this gravel in the top layer so that gravel will not have a weed seeds or anything there will not be multiplication of the weed also it is non sticky and it also percolate the water whatever rain falls even rain time also people can walk comfortably it will not be sticky so these kind of three layers we do desilting and if you see my basic designs like most of the bangalore lakes are man made and uh, you see uh, outlet side there will be uh, slopes like this and uh, outlet side there will be bunts so there will be two waste where left right and in between there is a one irrigation purpose uh, there will be tube so what we do is and uh, most of the roads are created in the bunt side only uh, what we do is uh, this road we leave it and we don't go for uh, uh, these grills and other metal things and all because they are expensive items project cost will going to shoot up and they are all temporary items like they will get rust people will steal it so a lot many things happens that is why what we follow is bamboo and bougainville it is called biofencing bamboo and bougainville we plant so that uh, it acts as a barrier also people can't throw anything inside the lake also uh, the more you cut bamboo we can promote the uh, bamboo products right so we promote bamboo products. the more you cut the more it grows also it is a uh, good for the uh, birds nesting actually so that way we use bamboo and bougainville and uh, whatever we don't use any of the grills compound and all this whatever earth uh, natural ground level we rise about five to seven feet uh, walking track so that people cannot encroach because that is acting as a, a border right so uh, we use that and uh, both side we plant a trees water body side we will have a medium canopy uh, other side will have a higher canopy plants so that it will be covered always uh, and uh, people can walk you know they can jog in this they can sit in the this thing and also a lot of birds and bees butterflies uh, fruits will be there and also if you see this uh, we also create one more step here with the board one is that it strengthens the step of 10 feet uh, and uh, and desilted mud can be utilized here as well as uh, there will not be direct water body if any family or somebody animals or birds or anything so suddenly they should not get into water there will be uh, in bangor when we desilt we'll get a uh, most of the time some stones and all uh, if we get a stones we pitch it non water area so not definitely water area so that there will be interference and uh, comfortably parents can walk around without fear of the kids they don't di directly get into water and after that the second layer we put a shrubs variety which a lot of flower bearing and other things so that a lot of bees butterflies will be there and also it acts as a second layer barrier so no need of metal uh, fencing here then this slope whatever is there instead of one is to two one is to one one and a half it is a two steep slopes and suddenly animals and anybody can get in and kids get in and harmful and birds can't sit and uh, they can't do fishing and all so that is why what we do is natural slopes we create so that uh, there will be uh Vidalia plants which i showed you there will be vetiver grass and uh, nowadays i am started uh, planting pudina pudina is the uh, permanent uh, plant actually it is not seasonal right if you plant a pudina it will control the soil erosion it will also give a best fragrance of the lake and also it helps the ecosystem but only drawback with pudina is there will not be flowers so there will not be bees right butterflies that is why what we do is pudina we plant one meter and rest we plant a vadelia so that it can give a best fragrance and also people can flock and they can sell it they can earn out of it so that pudina can be promoted more which is very good ayurvedic material so this way we do it and uh, see this is one of the lake called nanjapura lake 18 acres this is a dry dead lake case study right so last 40 years there was no single drop, drop, drop of water you can see this lake design this is the main source of water what we did is here we have a, a disturbance with the boulder stones and all whatever chapels plastic paste brush old tattoo so many things flow in the water 
it will be trapped here. And after that, earthen bund only we have dug up in a tropozoid system of the uh, earthen buns. And also we put a earthen buns only here. We created one V notch here. So first water will come, fill, settle. Then second it will fill and settle. Third it will fill and settle. By the time it come to main lake, all the silt will be trapped in initial stage only. So uh, it is a water body only again. So we don't have any concretization. It is a full mud. So whole idea is that this lake should not have any silt in future. So because if 18 acres it gets spread, it is very difficult to desilt later stage, right? But only this three years, four years, once you can desilt it. Five, six years, once you can desilt this area in a summer season, right? So that is done. And biomass, everything will be trapped here. And you can see this marked area that is for only percolation purpose, right? So uh, basically like a, if you completely damage the mother earth, then heavy percolation will take place. In the summer, the lakes will go dry. So we have to balance percolation and evaporation rating both. So what we, have, what we do is certain area just we dug up in such a way that they percolate water so that entire year, year there will be water in it. It's like a rainy season 95%, winter season it should fall down to 75, then summer it's supposed to be 50. So if it is always 100 also dangerous because it will become a stagnant water. So it has to be cycled, right? That is one. And you can see natural slope. Most of my lakes are kids friendly lake, animals friendly lake. See, when you go inside the lake kids, if there is a sudden depth, there will be injury, there will be fatal or anything, right? So if it is a natural slope lake and kids can aram say go and aram say they can come. And also a lot of birds can sit in the shores and they can catch their food. And see most of the birds and animals and uh, uh, microorganisms, they do our lot of job. When we block them, uh, then we will have to do their job. So it is the thing. And also you can see here, uh, this is the silt trap and it is a agriculture land. So that is why I was telling each lake, different, different designs and theme will be same. And here you can see we have done a natural silt trap. Silt trap, if you construct with stone, concrete or anything, what happens? Uh, then when you want to desilt it, you have to use manpower. Manpower is more expensive and uh, it is depending upon efficiency of the region. So rather than that, you take a earth mower or a JCB and in a one hour you can able to desilt it. So this is what uh, we have do. And after that directly, if heavy flow is there, it goes to lake. Otherwise it come to this pond. This pond is idle immersion pond, toddler swimming pool, as well as second level of uh, silt trap. And whatever stones, uh, you, you know, we put here because Wadeli and all, if you put, maybe kids will be swimming, they'll be afraid. There might be snakes or anything. That is why we did a stone pitching here, right? And a multi-layer, you know, like uh, they get purified. So this is how uh, we do. And this is how lake get filled up. And also, if you see these slopes also, here I tried nephew grass. Nephew grass, why I tried is this 40 years, because of this empty lake, a lot of grazers, like uh, cow cattle, all those things are there. So suddenly if I make a water body, then th they will have a problem for uh, grazing. That is why what I did is I put a full of grass here so people can cut and 700 to 800 uh, uh, cows, they can do uh, uh, dairy farming and all. For that purpose also, it is useful. And also it controls the soil erosion. The more they cut, the more uh, erosion will be controlled. And this is a Bingipura Lake, 28 acres. This is a model of uh, sewage lake. If you see this entire 28 acres lake was uh, filled with the sewage. Why it is so much sewage is 80% of the rainwater comes, 20% of the sewage will come and join with it and 100% it become a full sewage. And here a lot of fishes used to die because of less dissolved oxygen and BOD, COD and pH level is imbalanced, right? So TDS level is very high. It was in pathetic. So it is concept like 200 liter milk we have, just two drop of lemon if you put, how it become paneer, like that it becomes. So that is why what I did is, you can see here second picture. So I re released entire water slowly without creating turbidity so that uh, that and thin water will go to the next lake. See, I also rejuvenate lakes step by step. Next slides I will show you. So this released water, again that lake I rejuvenate. Again that lake I rejuvenate it. So that uh, there will not be problem, I will tell you. And also this released and we desilted completely. And also you can see these are all the lagoons. Rainwater catchments are here and here. There are six rainwater catchments here. 
So we created a lagoon. First water will come. It gets settled. There is a pipe here. From pipe it goes to lake. And same way here. Same way other place. You can see round shape. That is the percolation area where we damage the mother earth. So that, that much only water will percolate. So that entire season there will be water in it. And also two, two small rains, three small rains, it will get filled up. And you can see other area here, black area. Uh, there I created a compartments like a tropozoite type and also meandering type. So water will flow from one to one in a meandering system. And from this end to, and by the time it comes this end, it will take eight days. I created delay in it. So here silt will be trapped. Then uh, there is a floating wetlands. There is a nat native uh, wetlands. And here there is a place for aeration naturally and it is exposed to ultraviolets. By the time it come out, the treated water, we use it for all the plants watering purpose. Rest of the water slowly flow into next lake so that in the canal itself, two kilometers when it flows, it naturally get purified. So that way we do. And you can see third picture, that result, how it looks. Right, you can see that black water area is a complete treatment area. Then naturally, it, here no electricity, no chemical. See, the moment we put a chlorine fluorine, we also kill aerobic, we also kill anaerobic. So uh, instead of that, we expose it to ultraviolets of the sun so that anaerobic will die, so that anaerobic will reduce, aerobic will increase. Uh, aerobic, when it's there, methane gas will be reduced. So that concept, you can see black water slowly changes here. And also, you can see green and next, it goes to natural. So here, most of the Bangaloreans can visit this lake, Bingipura. There is one masjid here. Always, like a lot of kids are swimming in the sewage water lake. So that is the thing. And even, in fact, uh, UP Chief Secretary uh, came, Mr. Durga Prasad uh, Mishra, sir. When he seen witnessed by the eyes, I put that video into the uh, YouTube channel of Anand Maligwar. Just you can have a look at it. This is the case study of sewage water. So this way, uh, I was talking about like this is a Bangalore city. I started from the south zone here. Reason is here there is a huge forest, Banyargata forest. So I start, you know, changing things here. So it will get much faster, ecologically faster because there are peacocks, birds, everything. And there is a good water. So I started doing and all around the Bangalore, I am coming down. So I'm in uh, south, east, west, north now. Everywhere I'm rejuvenating. So that ecosystem will get much faster in the ring of the outer and so that inside lakes can be slowly changed. That is why semi-urban lakes I am more, more, more concentrating. And if you see, I don't do one lake here, one lake there because Bangalore lakes are interconnected because it is in a 940 meters above the sea level and there are valleys and they are all interconnected. See, for example, this is a ridge lake. That is a Gavi. Gavi first full. And then it overflows to Vapsandra. Vapsandra overflows to Kalsanari. Kalsanari to Bandhanal Sandra. From here it goes to Hennagara. Like that, I call this is a stream. One, stream one, two. Like 11 streams, 45 lakes I have identified. By doing that, 45 lakes, I can save this 450 acres lake. That is called Hennagara Lake. If I start rejuvenating 450 acres lake, I will be required hundreds of crores and 5-6 years duration. And also, uh, it is not sustainable because from here bad water is entering inside then it will go into spoil this so that is why what i am doing is each lake i am holding rainwater separate and sewage water naturally i am treating by the time first lake coat and it, it, it come here it will become crystal clear so this is what stream wise i am working on the lakes from hennagara it goes to kachanayaknali kachanayaknali to chandapura chandapur to muttyanallur that is a 1800 acres lake that it can be saved naturally and from there it goes to Penya river. So instead of doing river rejuvenation and larger lakes by spending more money, more time. So we are working from the roots, from the ridge so that entire system can be changed. That is how I'm working here. And also uh, this is the lake of Nanjapura, uh, how it was like, for example, this was an inlet. This was sub inlet. This was outlet like this lake was dead dry like this and uh, we did a survey of the lake completely by the using survey records and cleared the encroachment as of now out of 23 lakes i cleared about 43 acres of encroachment which is each costing five crores and there is no litigation there is no cases or no police no disturbance i take a 90 percent of the villagers 10 percent 
these peoples you know like uh, end coaches we handle them low hanging fruit first we clear some people bring influence they some people fight and all smoothly coolly calmly we talk to them we make them realized and slowly we remove them so this is how we clear the encouragement also and my design will be very simple right and so most of my supervisors are 10th plus 2 like that people right so uh, operators and all they don't understand section details and all of course we will have section drawings and all with us and uh, this kind of drawing i do simple there is a water entering there is a filtration system then there will be walking track like this there is a lagoon and there will be forest and filtration system all those things we give on a simple way so that they can understand better and uh, see the same nanjapura last 40 years it was a grazing land there was no single drop of water and same nanjapura you see how we have done a desilting almost three times we created a uh, uh, water holding capacity you can see natural slopes and other thing and uh, this is the uh, silt trap come toddlers and uh, come idle immersion tank right we have given a step for them to safety and other things so that when you have safety here kids will not get into this lake so this is what it was dried and uh, once we did and after immediately monsoon it got filled up like this and you can see this nephew grass which is using utilized by the grazers and uh, that is one lake and this is my first lake of 36 acre i rejuvenated this entire lake in a 45 days less than 95 lakhs and uh, last six years as of today it is the best crystal clear lake and uh, uh, if you see uh, this entire this was a main bond was there and I removed 240,000 cubic meter of mud. Each islands are designed for particular birds, like a predator birds. We have put up bigger trees, and a smaller birds we put a Singapore cherry and covered canopy so that they will be safe. And each island there will be flowers, there will be fruits, there will be heavy plant in between, there will be shrubs so that there will be fly comes they eat. You know, like we have created such an ecosystem that nobody can go and poach their birds or anything eggs and all. Like the predator birds generally prefer longer trees where they sit in the tall area and they monitor everything that is islands and you can see here this is a lotus i planted which is working as a uh, wetland and also it purify the water it control the evaporation rating it also the economy of the surrounding villages they flood the flower and they uh, gain a lot of uh, every day some money so that they connected and uh, see, people are going here in the road with vehicles and all. They can't throw plastic and all here because they get lotus will get damaged and these localites will going to uh, take action on them. That way I connected this. And also, uh, this is a traditional forest I created. This is a Miyawaki forest I created. This is a grassland I created. This is a wetland. This is the islands. So this lake is particularly designed for birds and uh, ecosystem, right? So every lake we should not do uh, islands because they reduce the water holding capacity. Out of 10 square kilometer or 20 square kilometer, uh, out of 30 lakes, one lake we can design like this. And also you can see here idle immersion tank outlet when it overflows. And you can see here inlet right, inlet left, inlet center. I kilometers together I dug up. In a 25, uh, in a 2017 I rejuvenated it. Uh, 2017 uh, April. June, I did a plantation of 18,000 saplings with 1,500 people in a one hour, 45 minutes. And nine and a half days, this lake got filled up as of now, last six years. It is always full with the water and uh, it is maintaining that uh, in summer, it dropped down, rainy season, that all the act is going on. And it looks like this with a crystal clear water as of now. Then a lot of people come, they connected to lake. Some people also wash the cloth. It is a huge, large area lake. Does not matter for us. This is a lotus area. And this is a Miyawaki forest. In this lake, there was no one single tree. Now, 65 variety of uh, trees, around 18,500 variety of uh, saplings. They all grown 40 feet, right? With the help of Satris Environmental Trust, we did a plantation. This is a grassland. This is a island. And you can see a lot of already fruits started coming. Villagers are enjoying with fruits, like birds, mammals, monkeys. Like this is a Vadelia. This is a lot of butterflies. A lot of kingfisher because of from half inch to about uh, three feet 15 kg fishes available in the lake so this is a different one more lake above the kalasnadi uh, here you, you have a silt trap here you have eight feet zone uh, this is 16 feet zone this is a 32 feet zone this is a just wetland of two feet uh, two three feet and small one island here 
and whatever water comes from the village sewage it is naturally get purified here just as then band i put by the time it reach here it goes to outlet from outlet it goes to next lake so and also whatever desilted mud we used here for the walking track and all and also you can see here miyawaki forest we created initially a uh, first lake and second lake i tried with stone pitching by the time i realized that uh, stone pitching is harmful for the lake then i stopped it from the fourth lake so this lake looks like this with a good quality of water good quality of forest and uh, it is a natural wetland lot of bulbs will be there trees are all grown well and it never got dried up and this is my third lake this is third lake called a kon sandra lake it is about 16 acres lake you can see this is a complete rain water and this is a complete sewage water naturally it get purified and goes to the next lake and this is a gavi lake which is about 3 acres uh, 3.5 acres lake i did in a stepwell concept each step i put certain plants which they purify the water and they maintain it this is a lake called mane lake which is about 5 acres lake it is made for wildlife drinking water you can see anywhere no no walking track and all because this side is completely forest area lot of elephants deers peacocks and all they come here they drink water this is a complete natural shallow lake designed for only wildlife and there is a one photography point here where people cannot access this side they they can't uh, just they can come and do it here this is done by uh, 10th standard uh, three girls one boy they did a crowd funding for me uh, 10 lakh rupees they brought uh, and uh, i teach them how to rejuvenate the lake they rejuvenated they went to united nations they presented this lake they met uh, uh, mr sayed Ak sayed akbaruddin in the united nations and also he appreciated and he tweeted uh, about this kids initiative see generally we present a burning frothing uh, dirt lakes and all these kids went and they told that we rejuvenated this lake and our life will be dedicated to the this thing three girls and one boy within 27 days they collected 10 lakh rupees so this is how we rejuvenated this lake and also this lake looks like this and also this is a nanjapura lake i told you once water got filled up shallow and a lot of nesting because of that nephew grass a lot of nephew grass is there a lot of birds hummingbirds they remove their stems and all they do a lot of nesting there you will find thousands of hummingbirds there and this is called a one more harosidapura lake this 35 acres 36 acres lake i rejuvenated in a less than 46 lakhs and i created uh, see this was a pathetic horrible condition like this with algal blooms you know so many things we did like this completely in the corona uh, lockdown time entire india closed i rejuvenated four lakes in corona did not stop from 2017 i started this journey except january 26 as of now not one day we stopped the work continuously god grace Uh, my lake journey is going on and also this lake looks like this now with a beautiful uh, but uh, this water looks like a blue it is a problem of technical uh, drone shot actually this water quality is muddy actually even you take a high level shot that blue is come so here i did a natural filtration system horizontally then here it is a fully rain water lake there is a forest islands here miyawaki lagoons everything and uh, you can see here from here sewage step by step enter slowly with the wetland it get diluted and it join to the main lake so that dheere 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 uske andar ye acha pani aake milte milte it changes it and here in between i created islands for the birds right there is a lagoon here so that water color is this not actually this this is a drone problem and also you can see a uh, lot of birds you know natural uh, this thing you know like a lot of bamboos we planted for the uh, birds and all right so this is one more lake called 47 acres lake uh, it is uh, rejuvenated uh, in 2020 so this was uh, having a zero water full of dump yard and forest department planted full of forest here so they were thinking that there is no water and all if we don't for create a forestation people will encroach so when it comes to my uh, this thing and i removed all invasive plants like juliflora like uh, eucalyptus right like all these things and uh, other all the good plants i created the island and uh, without reducing the water holding capacity 11 lakh 80000 cubic meter of water holding capacity we kept and uh, uh, this lake is become like this again it is a blue it is not a blue color it is a drone problem actually water is in a muddy color 
and it is called mini pattaya of bangalore we kept the name actually uh, so these are all islands because of these trees grown and all i did not want to uh, kill them and i created a lot of islands here i also subsequently created a, a forest here and uh, this entire 47 acres lake i rejuvenated in a less than 3 crore rupees we removed about uh, 5 to 7 lakh cubic meter of uh, soil and it looks like this it is one of the and it helped a lot you can see here this is a walking track this is a second step this is a Vadelia area this side we have put a natural grass so we have created lagoon wherever sewage is entering here and this is a kids play area senior citizen area we created so and these are all the islands we created and this is one more lake called uh, Devasandra which is 31 acres in less than one crore we originated it was fully spoiled with the highest synth and other thing we cleaned it like this and a, a complete lake we transformed in a 75 working days and it become a full of water in the next three months and a lot of birds you see there a lot of animals drinking water a lot of borewells has been recharged and uh, uh, we also planted a lot of trees here thousands of trees with the help of Satris Environmental Trust we created a dense forest here so that water and the ecosystem and this is a Nanjapura lake which I showed you see this is the best quality water which rain water comes I trapped here and I created a space slope here so that a lot of villagers cows cattle and all these uh, uh, goats and all they come here they drink water here and this is a rain water here this is a sewage water see you can see this black water by the time you reach here you can see both mud water and both are same so this is the power of our nature this is the power of our plants this is the power of our sun this is the power of our soil microorganisms you see this black water without anything it is changing into this color and people are swimming in the sand you, anybody can walk into my lake and they can observe it and uh, see water quality of the rain water you can see small aquatic plants inside it is visible right so turbidity of the water is so good and you so crystal clear feel so happy to see this and also lake looks like this and this is one more lake called a uh, uh, Komsandra lake a PUC first year girl came to Bingipura lake to see my work to do a project report she got inspired she went and she inspired her uh, parents and uh, you, these are all the articles available in the google 11th standard girl rejuvenated Komsandra lake that you can see, read the article you get more information that girl went and inspired her parents she brought about 40 lakh rupees and uh, she wanted to originate lake and uh, learn the lake so complete i teach her around uh, 12 classes i took and teach her i took her life i teach her how to originate lake so this entire lake is originated by 11 standard girl actually and you see this has become like this right full of you know uh, we transformed this entire thing in a 60 63 working days uh, complete we made a natural habitat there were a lot of trees and all we just retained them as a small small islands right so you can see here there are two things water is here one is this is a kc valley treated water they are filling the lakes that water is coming this is a rain water if you directly mix it it will get spoiled so slowly proportionately we are mixing both we created a lot of you know here wetland plants all those things aquatic plants excess nutrients like npk sulfur and all they keep observing and uh, you know it is exposed to nature and it goes out to the next lake and you can see here this is a purely made for the cows and cattle's drinking water for animals so since it is a comfortable place nobody comes and uh, drink here water nobody graze so that there is one borewell here near the temple last uh, 10 12 years there were no single drop of water they were getting a water for the village from 15 20 kilometers by spending 45 lakh rupees pumping station but after this six month only they got full water now they stop that and they are using this water only so this is what and there are four or five houses they have got full water in this lake and uh, this is a margonelli lake which i talked about jsw first video i showed you you see this this is a full hyacinth dry dead there is a bed of about two feet and uh, above that lot of gray herons and so many birds used to be there and bottom there is a water this is a sewage from here it is a 12 feet of water was filled and it was in a horrible you can see this pond i tried activated microbes and so many things i tried with this water it did not work finally i did like this so uh, this is happened in a 70 72 working days you can see here first water enters 
they will get it is a tropozo type of lagoon they get settled here then it come to second settle here slowly here there is a floating wetlands and other thing and they get to settle there then again get purified and uh, uh, so this comes here see this uh, this lake is rejuvenated in a just jsw's 1.9 crores out of that 20 lakhs went gst 1.7 crores we could able to do complete job and also you see none of the trucks we could be able to use 10 earth moors is shifted mud up to this end from this end so this is a fully sewage water this is a rain water completely and also this required about 2 lakh 40 thousand cubic meter of water what we did is we there is a catchment here you can see here pipes and here also there are a lot of silt traps so silt will be trapped then again second level silt trap then water will flow into the lake but today if you see this entire lake is having about two and a half feet water in a just seven rains so expected heavy rains this year it will going to fill up full lake and it looks like this in a side and this is the next lake above the uh, this lake, uh, Margonari Lake. This is called Sikari Palya. It was a dead, pathetic 12 MRD, full of sewage and horrible lake. This year we took with the help of Samsung and uh, we made like this. So in continuously, non-stop we worked. There were huge encroachment in this lake. And you can see here, there are 10,000 trucks of, you know, plastic and uh, things are dumped here. And uh, there was huge... A uh, nuisance here, a lot of uh, encroachment here. You can see these all these slums are built in the, uh, you can see these slums are built in the lake bed only. We cleared about 32 houses and we cleared about all the encroachment and it become like this now. So uh, their villager says after 22 years, first time out their kids are swimming, you can see kids here. There is a, There are two kids are swimming in this. So it is become a swimmable lake. And uh, you can see here, uh, this is what water quality and uh, still another uh, one, uh, another 15 days we are completing this project it is a 20 acres and it is rejuvenated in a 1.7 uh, crores and also this is called gollali lake you can see here this is a main road you can see here lot of debris dumped in and uh, here lot of industrial sewage they used to put it into it they spoiled the entire lake with the help of arrow electronics limited we rejuvenated this lake and it become like this so from this to this, we took about two and a half months. We spent about 30, 35 lakhs. And uh, this lake is having full here, Varelia we planted now. They're all growing and uh, it become very crystal clear. And also here we did a fencing because of the main road it is. Uh, bamboo to grow, it will take some time. Immediately people will throwing a waste. So now we are planning to plant here, uh, Varelia and bamboo here. And this is a one more lake called Kalkere Lake. Pathetic five acres lake with the help of Airbus, we are rejuvenating it. 14 to 15 feet sludge is here. It is in a horrible lake. We did a dewatering, desilting, everything. Work is going on. It is complete, you know, silt type of thing. This silt, we are shifting it to farmer's land as well as dry. We are using it for uh, this thing, uh, water, earthen burn purpose. And it changed like this. And this is one more lake called Sampigali Lake, which is six acres lake with the help of Nexus Malls. Uh, here it is uh, attached to National Park. You can see just here National Park is there and uh, there is a big forest is there. This is the first lake of National Park to city side. So it was full of, you know, uh, horrible water loading capacity not there, lot of uh, this thing and we have changed it to this and still work is going on probably another one week 10 days it will become best drinking water for the here you will find the everyday evening elephants and all these things come they drink a water and go so total uh, thing is like 2016 i did a study of lakes one year i took i visited about 180 lakes these most of the knowledge is what i gained it's not from book or google it's gained from the farmers then cow buys villagers which is good plant, which is not good plant, what is better for you, what is not better for you, how it works, everything based on the that knowledge I gained. 2017, I did a, uh, one lake, 18, I did one lake, uh, 19, I did two lakes, 19, I left my corporate job. I was getting about lakhs together, salary, everything, and uh, I was uh, uh, worked about 16 years in uh, one of the automotive and aerospace industry. I was loving uh, this job, and I was very happy with this. I was thinking like along with job, I did four lakes, so much of transformation. If I dedicate my full life to the lakes, 
say for example 18 hours if i start working for the legs i can change so many people life and uh, i can do something wonders to the my mother nature so i left and uh, 20 i did another four legs 21 i did another four legs so 22 uh is a best time for me i am crossing more than 10 lakhs in one year itself right and not only bangalore i started working in ayodhya 108 kunds i am rejuvenating in ayodhya and uh, out of that eight already we have taken 100 is under amrut uh, you know like a, a approval and also uh, on the tilotki ganga which is a 46 km river was vanished like saraswati river with the help of ayodhya development authority ayodhya municipal corporation up government support we have dug up the entire river and this monsoon there is no flood and the water is flowing in it and there is a one lake called lal diggi of 11 kilo, 11 acres last 50 years sludge is filled nobody could able to do that so many contractors crossed together money came they failed that lake i have taken and they kept a 35 lakh rupees pump to pump water to the sarayu river so now i am making a natural biological sewage treatment almost 50% is work is over another 50 will be over before monsoon and also 165 acres in ayodhya it is called samuda bird sanctuary i am creating a international bird sanctuary i am designing for ramsar convention style that uh, it is a very very natural there is no concrete steel structures and all complete 1 meter shallow 2 meter shallow 3 meter shallow based on the different different uh you know water levels there will be life in it so like that i am designing i am working in a uh, this thing gorakhpur uh, which is a godai nala it is a 1700 acres ramgarh talab instead of working on ramgarh talab i am working on the tributary of that uh, godai nala probably uh, project got approved it is a complete we are making a natural eco bay of that and also i am working in a muradabad with the help of muradabad development authority 14 acres of lake naturally i am working on it we are also one working on kanpur designing it is in process we are working in uh, lucknow like that uh, now i am uh, i'll going to work with the uh, orissa government with 1400 lakes uh, with uh, amrut projects and all i am helping them to do, re- rejuvenate naturally i have been appointed to the meghalaya government as a advisory uh, uh, expert committee to meghalaya government based on the high court and governor's uh, advice and uh, monday i am traveling to meghalaya i am trying my level best to bring uh, that is a fragile ecosystem in meghalaya assam and other things so i i am dreaming now that bangalore how i started from south to complete round now i am thinking from meghalaya assam to till kanyakumari my country should have a <laughs> okay sorry my country should have full of water Uh, we should have a very good ecosystem and uh, <laughs> want to do something yeah so these are all the list of lakes uh, start date and uh, this is the cost what i given and uh, thank you <laughs> we go for question and answer much uh, anand ji for such a wonderful presentation very motivating very inspiring and i'm sure uh, uh, you can read the comments coming in in the chat box a lot of people have already volunteered they want to get associated you doing such a great work and people are vol- volunteering here uh, you know appreciating your work and wanting to be a part of your initiative so now uh, the onus lies on you how do you i know also and you know involve all these people who are already writing you can read them that they are wanting to contribute so um means ma'am with your permission shall we start the question answer session yes yes please so we are starting the question answer session now i have already received few uh, questions in the chat box however uh, you are you also have a choice of asking it so maybe you can raise your hand you have an option of raising your hand and my team will unmute you and you can put forward your query request mr pankaj you may please ask your query i request mr pankaj you may please ask your query Okay. Associated. 
uh, I've been trying to get in touch with you. Uh, I'm from the Rotary Club of Bombay Chambur West. Just wanted to get, get a cost perspective in the sense that what is the average cost of per acre of rejuvenation? Because I could not see the chart with the cost involved in that. Yeah. See, uh, benchmark of the cost as of now I achieved is 5 to 7 lakhs for the, per acre for a dry dead lake. 5 to 7 lakhs per acre okay. as of now I achieved, which is lowest in the planet. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> and the second thing is dry, sorry, sewage filled dead lake. We achieved highest is uh, eight to twelve lakhs. Like uh, for example, Margon Lake, we spent very heavily per acre. We spent more three lakh rupees. More reason is uh, there. It is a different soil and the different kind of. It is a, like a charcoal type of. You know, the moment you lift and put it. It will sp sp spread like right. gel, yeah. right? Yeah. So highest, you see, dry dead lakes you can take five five to eight lakhs per acre, and eight to twelve lakhs you can take for a sewage, inclusive of everything, desilting, dewatering, dewatering, plantation, two years maintenance, everything together it is actually. Uh, so we, uh, I come from the western part of India uh, near yeah. Bombay, yeah. so here we do have a lot of rains. So, yeah. uh, in fact, I did a study, but can we capitalize on the rainwater to do that? So, would that impact the cost? Would that reduce? See, instead of thinking about cost, we should study each lake. We should think about sustainability and uh, we should think natural habitat, right? So, cost is uh, like, for, for example, in the world, uh, 36 acre lake, uh, 95 lakhs, nobody is rejuvenated, which is a recorded cost. Like, uh, for example, other players, they originate 15 cores, 16 cores and all, right? So, if your team is good, if uh, equipments we get, you know, if uh, workflow is faster, we can do less than 3 lakh, 4 lakh also. Say, for example, 12 acres of that lake I showed you, that PUC first year girl uh, lake, that yeah. is done in only 39 lakhs, entire 12 acres. If you calculate, it is lesser than. And one more lake I showed you, Haroshidapura. Flow was good. There is no obstacles or issues and soil condition. So many parameters depend on cost, right? That entire 36 acre lake, I originated in only 46 to 47 lakhs. So these are all possible. It depends upon lake, uh, you know, how work flows and other thing. Like uh, suddenly so, some ro rocky so area. So you, you kind of visit it and kind of personally. Pankaji, I, like, I would like to intervene. Maybe you can separately yeah. connect and discuss yeah, things further. Sure. And there yeah. are... Uh, more people and uh, we'll be happy to take another query, please. Yeah. I request Mr. Man Singh, you may please ask your query. Yes, sir, please. Thank you, Madam Sood. I appreciate Anand's presentation. Uh, I'm really amazed uh, when you uh, successfully resolve the conflict of encroachment in the cities. Uh, in Delhi, uh, there is a wetland authority headed by Dr. Madhu Verma. Mm -hmm. I'm also one of the export member in that. This was constituted by Honorable Lieutenant uh, Governor. So here we are facing a lot of difficulties. So what was that mantra that helped you to very quickly resolve the conflict of encroachments? Mantra, of first point is no involvement of politicians. Second mantra is no police. Third mantra is no caste, no bar, no poor, no rich. Fourth mantra is be strong, never leave anyone. But how could you? The mantra is good, but practically. Practically, I did. That is what I am trying to tell you. You ask me question. <laughs> then fifth okay. mantra that is. is okay. Fifth mantra is you should okay. have a willingness to talk to. You should have a good patience. Talk to them, convince them. They may put Damki, Dadagiri, Gundagiri, uh, vulgar language. All they may try because last few years they enjoyed that property. To leave that property, definitely there is a big pain in them. Right? Yeah. See, okay, you are doing something better for the environment, nature. They know that. And they also know that their land will value will going to rise very high once you originate this lake. But That's still true. they try their level best. We should not give up. Got it, got it. Thank you. The yeah.
I request Mr. J B and Reddy. You may please ask your query. I request Ms. Dr. P. Sivaram. You may please ask your query. Okay, next. Uh, Anand. Yes, sir. To congratulate you for working yes, uh, this way. And okay. another important thing is, it's a, you made it like walk the talk. Jo bolta hai, wo karna hai. hai. But my request is, can you please highlight sustainability of rejuvenated lakes? Yeah. Okay, to whom you are going to give? Whether you are going to give to the people or any committees? And after four or five years, what is the situation now? See, 2017 lakes, and now what is the position now? It's a combination, sir. Combination is that I own this lake, never handed over to anyone. That is first thing. Second thing is walkers, joggers, cyclers, youths, senior citizens, kids. Whoever using that lake, we made a good friendship with them. And they are the people, regular basis, they are using it. Then they are the people who is an information system to me that if any new people enters inside the lake, if they do new sense or anything, anything, within two hours time it come in my WhatsApp message. And I go immediately, talk to them, try to resolve very diplomatically. And new sense people also I try to add in this group so that they will become part of this. That is one. And also... <laughs> Uh, Actually, what I wanted to tell, how many uh, lakes you will um, monitor like this? Because you are a Bangalorean, you... Yeah. I am not monitoring. Bangalore. See, yeah, people are monitoring. My okay. intervention is required. Hmm. Understand, no? You come to my lake, you meet me in a Bangalorean if you are, come with me and roam morning 6 to 2 o'clock you roam, I'll show you 15 lakes, how they survived, how people are engaged, how it is taken care, that I'll show you. Excellent. Yeah. You come and meet me. Nah. Let's go around. Just you experience there. See, it is a combination of different, different. Something, some nature is doing something good for us. I am telling you. See, when uh, one IAS officer can take one district, uh, one single common man can I, can, can't take around 50 lakes of Bangalore. Yeah. And he's and... got uh, 20 brains and 30 hands. No, only thing is a uh, willingness. We want to yeah. protect this lake. It is my lake. I want to live. People are handling 400, 500 crores of uh, business, 1000 crores of business. Huh? And they are handling uh, 200, 500 uh, acres of uh, farming land. Can I, can't I do it uh, to 20, 30 lakes? Because you have expanded your wings to other places, other states also. That is I have people only... now. I yeah. have people with me. Excellent. People means like you people. Yeah. Yes, and Dr. Sivaramji is absolutely right. You see, like I mentioned, you see in the chat box, there are people who are wanting to be associated. So I'm sure wherever he goes, there are a lot of people, people. who are joining. It's a people him. movement, people support. Anand can't do alone this. Excellent. I, I am highly satisfied. Thank you very much. Yeah. Next, please. I request Ramesh Kumar Singh Ji, you may please ask your question. Please, sir. Yeah. At least uh, um, uh, we'll, uh, we want to see the place and also, if possible, then we'll uh, uh, try to replicate in our, our area also. But uh, uh, I want to know some, uh, because uh, I have some assumption that uh, what's your plan for sustenance? It will after, after five, 10 years, uh, 20 years. How it will be maintained with see, Anand, with Anand, and without Anand. Yeah. See, it's, it's uh, almost a similar question, which he just no, answered. Answer will be different. Answer will be no, different. No, uh, see, like... when my turn, let me answer. It's good question. With Anand, without Anand only, I'm going to tell. See, five elements is made this body, this planet, this universe. In this five element, if you bring concrete, steel, structure, plastic, electricity, motor, pump, filtration system, all those things, 
grass and other things definitely it has to be monitored by humans anand are you if you make it a natural habitat if you create a natural habitat say for example what i did is i separated sewage i separated rain water rain water like rain only will come like silt will be trapped plastic paper will be trapped so there is no human interference less human interference more sustainability right and uh, need not to have money or anything here so some volunteers walkers joggers one day they plan on saturday they take water bottle they come and clean my lake they remove the plastic they remove something like whatever thrown by the people that is only done by people only because they inspire right so if you put up more equipments camera gimra sensors sensors and all definitely human interference and money required you need to monitor it so that is what i am telling ecologically naturally if you build any habitat it will sustain without human interference if you do it artificial so many modern items and you have to sit and monitor it that is my fundamental i request ramesh kumar singh ji you may please ask a query i request reema mittal ji you may please ask a query Mr. Malagwar, Namaste, ma'am. Of course, let me tell you that uh, I think I have been following your work on uh, LinkedIn, and it's extremely impressive what you are doing. Uh, and I represent IIT Kanpur. So my question is uh, that you know the number that you have because it's a one man's vision, I would say. And as you have said, that one man can do so much. So just out of curiosity, and you have also appreciated what the government is trying to do in this direction. So my question is that. Um, um, you know, if you combine, if if you join hands with the government, is there a way that you can increase and replicate your work across the country? I mean, do you see it uh, right? The numbers that you have quoted that how you know the number of lakes you would like to rejuvenate. Do you see that you can increase that work and increase that number? That yeah. is what I would like to know. And again, as uh, you have also at one point of time mentioned, no politicians. So, and I'm sure everybody understands what you're trying to refer to, but then with the government also, you know, pumping in, uh, you know, a lot of efforts, then do you think, uh, and do you see that there is a possibility with so much of interest from the people, a lot of, a lot of even academicians, a lot of work happening in this area, uh, because as I said, I represent IIT Kanpur. So that is why where, from where my question is coming. So just, I would like to know. First thing, I, I don't hate politician or bureaucrats or film actors. I love everybody. Why I told but, politician is when we are clearing the, yeah, yeah. yeah when we are clearing the encroachment, if political interference happens, there will be three, three, four, four parties. So they will get pressure unnecessary from these encroachers and they will start pressurizing you and playing around two, 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 two game chalte. Isliye, I tell politician, but here great support for me, Bangalore is. No MLA, no MP, no ministers is interfering in my work as of now. They tell that, please go sit with Anand, negotiate, give, leave his land and co close it up. That is the help they are doing it. Okay, that is one. Second thing is expanding. Expanding what I am doing is I am going to schools, colleges, tech companies, institutes and all. I am talking about how to rejuvenate lake in less time, less cost and ecological way naturally sustainable way without chemical stp and other thing that is going on and third thing is going on next my vision is by 2030 at least one lakh people should work in a same cause across the country for that what i am doing is like up government is organizing such a larger one of the workshop where 50 60000 people in a one shelter they will going to get trained that is going on and also orissa government what we are doing is we are making a standard template where 1400 lakes how what are the parameters what are the things we should follow how we should do and all everything we are making it a standardization like governments are supporting with the funding like governments have a huge funds on it like for example uh 10 acres lake they are spending two crores i tell them spend 50 50 lakhs four lakes you do it naturally you do it and engage the people engage the community take all the stakeholders into calculation 
and not listening all the suggestions suggestions are high in uh, this country uh, we don't want all the suggestions we take very limited suggestions that which it suits our project implementation as well as sustainability and scientific and technical right this way uh, i am continuously uh, earlier my dream was to rejuvenate one lake and inspire corporates and bring corporates into it i did it second i wanted to bring more corporates i did it then i wanted to have a multiple lakes multiple uh, people should be trained i did it in bangalore now my dream is to work with governments in a policy that we bring in all these natural methodologies so that all the departments under the government who are working they will follow this system so that they will do less cost less time and sustainable way that is going on now and next to my dream is across the country every district every taluk i wanted to make it a movement by not talking by not posters by not doing any videos and all by like this only see just one village boy from first lake as a small employee from the one company and today i reached up to jal shakti ministry right in a five years time that is a greatest achievement i have got and my dream is next entire country i will reach up to un i want to influence and i want to bring in a more water bodies focus on it that is the idea next so i'll take one uh, i'll i'll read out one um, there is the uh, one query sir uh, seems to be uh, sir can you please explain why stone pitching is harmful for the lake this is the question by sakit okay stone pitching will be done for controlling the soil erosion that's it that is not doing any other job so stone pitching just imagine you will going to blast one hill right you disturb the plate and there is a scrub ecology system on the ecosystem is there you disturb them and uh, you will bring them in a trucks by burning fossil fuel increasing the carbon footprint and it come to lake you see stone pitchers hand i don't know how many of you seen you see their hand such a fatigue job and that is the in lake 72 days stone pitching itself will take 3 months it is a time consuming job right so if backup soil is good it will sit well if backup soil is not good again it will become ara teda okay so instead of that if that stone also will become hot it will increase the water temperature it also increase the evaporation rating and also bulbs cannot comfortably sit and the fish there because it is a slippery and also lot of you know like breeding cannot happen in this stone where it happen in the plants right so uh, there is no you, you know all, uh, see it is not the only solution to control this violation one is that one 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 and a half one is to two slopes why do you want you make it a natural slope so that water speed will be less soil erosion will be less put a vadelia wetty where lot of things are there to do it so stone pitching also will reflect too much for the birds in a sunny time they don't even come so that is why i avoid stone but somebody loves stone pitching please go ahead and do it i don't have any objection so anand ji and also read out a message by mr sharad which is just uh, you know adding to what you are saying in fact he is saying having experience and understanding of sustainability and water ecosystem i can see and appreciate the level of holistic thought and integration of sustainability aspects at such minute detail of the whole rejuvenation process by you starting from natural slope avoiding concrete litter rails for sustainability and low uh, uh, you know ghg uh, carbon footprints proper proportion of shallow and deep area of percolation and much more so this is an appreciation thank you so much thank you you went uh, too deep uh, so i just thought it connected to how you were explaining this entire process of sustainability so i thought i must read out mr shah's so nice. uh, nice. compliment so next we will take mr ganesh mr ganesh please unmute mr ganesh Okay, next you can go somebody else. Yeah, yeah. 
So, Mr. Um, oh, Mr. He, he can't Uttar. unmute himself. Can you? Can you? Can someone can un unmute him? Because he, he can't unmute him. Yeah, I will unmute you, sir. Okay. No, he 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 is not. I cannot able to unmute him. Why? What is the problem? Just a second. Yeah. Just a second. Just a second. Yes, ma'am. Namaskar, Anandji. Namaste, sir. Namaste, sir. Ah. आपको ये बहुत ही मतलब पैशनेटली ये काम करते करने के लिए बहुत ही धन्यवाद और आ, मैं वाटर फॉर पीपल इंडिया ट्रस्ट ये जो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है दिल्ली में बेस वहाँ उसको रिप्रेजेंट करता हूँ मेरा एक सवाल है हम यहाँ पे चिखलदरा अमरावती डिस्ट्रिक्ट में काम करते हैं आदिवासी जो ये मेड़घाट है आदिवासी ये है तो यहाँ पे हम भी पानी के लिए बहुत कन्विंस करते लोगों को कि गांव में आपके ड्रिप इरिगेशन लगाओ मतलब वाटर सेव करो और ये तो वहाँ पे एक सवाल बहुत बार बार हमको ये दर्शाता है कि लोग खुद को मतलब पार्टिसिपेशन से लेके गांव में लीडरशिप करने के लिए आगे नहीं आते और आपने यहाँ बहुत बड़ा काम किया है कि जो इंक्रोचमेंट था मतलब इंक्रोचमेंट के लिए किस तरह से आपने मनाया लोगों को क्योंकि ये बहुत बड़ी संख्या में और लोग जल्दी अपना पर्सनल कोई घर हो क्या हो तो वो जल्दी सुनते नहीं है ये किस तरह से मतलब इतने बड़े पैमाने पे आपने किया इसके लिए कोई स्ट्रेटेजी थी क्या क्या आप यूज करते थे इसके लिए कुछ मतलब मीटिंग वगैरह वो थोड़ा शेयर करना प्लीज सर एक्चुअली अगर एक गाँव में हजार आदमी है हजार आदमी तो हजार आदमी में 800 आदमी आपके पास आता ही नहीं है पूछता भी नहीं है आप कितना भी बोलो दे आर बिजी विद देयर लाइफ सेकंड इज आउट ऑफ 200 लेफ्ट अराउंड 100 पीपल विल बी न्यूट्रल पीपल दे डोंट टॉक टू यू दे जस्ट ऑब्जर्व यू दे चेक व्हाट यू आर डूइंग एंड ऑल अनदर 50 पीपल आर एग्रेसिव एंड दे विल बी विद यू अनदर 50 पीपल विल अपोज हु इज एन कोचर्स सो गेम बिटवीन नॉट 1000 Game between 200, another 800 people keep their watchers. Don't uh, mistake me like that. Uh, all villagers are with me. No, never. Only 200, 100 people watchers, 50 people are supporters, 50 people are against to me. Game happens between us, and it is a patience job. And uh, there are low hanging birds, <laughs> fruits. Like some people, you know, like uh, five ten people out of the four five, I see. बात करने में ये मान लेता है वो ठीक है चलो यार एक दिन एक ना एक दिन चला जाएगा ये बट एवरी वन नोज दैट एज पर सुप्रीम कोर्ट हाई कोर्ट नो बडी कैन एनक्रोच द लेक एंड इट नेवर बिकम यूअर्स दैट 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 इज हेल्प अ लॉट फॉर मी एंड सेकंड थिंग जो बचा हुआ चार पांच आदमी बहुत पंगा करते हैं बहुत प्रॉब्लम करते हैं ये करते हैं बट तब तक है ना ये आठ आदमी जो चुप बैठा था ये चुप वाला तब तक हमने पहले ही हमने एनक्रोचमेंट में हाथ नहीं लगाता हूँ मैं मई स्ट्रेटर्जीज I never touch encroachment first itself. I do lot of job. I bring a transformation. I change so many things so that start winning people heart. Oh God! Itna jaldi me itna fast achche kar raha hai isa kar raha hai. Jo a eight sab me do three sab aata hai. Tab ye saare katham karna kab ab abhi sikari palya. Sikari palya margon nali. Pehle encroachment touch nahi kya. Pehle ya encroachment touch karna jaga to kam nahi hoga. Pehle apko transformation dikana hai. उसका मैजिक दिखाना है उसको दिखाना है उसका बाद ये के 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 आदमी को पकड़ के क्लियर करना है सो so, आप मार्गोन में एक डबल रोड है वहां पे तीन लाख रुपए रेंट वसूली करता था उसमें सर्विस सेंटर था फ्रूट्स शॉप था एक सीजलर्स था वह होटल था बहुत सारे चीज था उनको हमने टच किया जनवरी में काम खत्म किया फेब्रुवरी से शुरू किया मे में, में काली किया मैंने उसको इतना फोन इन्फ्लुएंस सब कुछ आया उसको उसमें पांच चार पंच तो निकल गया ये एक आदमी इतना टाइट था और रात को मेरे को डेढ़ घंटा मेरे को धमकी दिया सुबह उधर पहुंचा मैंने वो ऑलरेडी दस बीस आदमी इकट्ठा किया था सब कुछ था उसका बावजूद भी उसको कन्विंस करके वो निकला वो भगवान का आशीर्वाद है वो मेरा बात क्यों सुनता है क्या सुनता है थोड़ी चीज है ना हमारे पास भी नहीं है थोड़ी चीज ऊपर वाला का है मेहरबानी वो अपने कैसा होता है वो मुझे भी पता नहीं आई कांट टेल यू ऐसा भी हो रहा है बट जब तक होता है तब तक करूंगा मैं स्टॉप नहीं करूंगा ऐसा है ग्रेट अनदर क्वेरी द लास्ट क्वेश्चन आई आई टेक दो देयर आर मेनी मोर कमिंग अप बट ऑल यू नो पार्टिसिपेंट्स हु आर पुटिंग फॉरवर्ड योर क्वेरी यू विल फाइंड आंसर्स टू ऑल योर क्वेरीज 
we'll we'll put forward these queries to anand ji even if i'm not able to take it today we'll forward it to anand ji and we'll try if we can bring your answers and can uh, share it with you eventually uh, so the last one for today by dr veena kanduri who is wanting to know how do you take consent for additional land requirement for determination additional, additional rank requirement kya hai additional kuch nahi ke liye honga main see whatever is there in the survey map इन्वेस्टमेंट तो ऐसा कोई चीज ही नहीं है हमारे पास so with this we come to an end of our question answer session as well and now uh, i hand it over to uh, shiv dikshit ji for his vote of thanks who is an advisor with national water mission over to you shiv dikshit ji yeah, good evening everyone i am asm dikshit advisor technical from national water mission the talk delivered by mr anand is very informative and inspiring thank you sir you have covered about the type of the lakes urban urban and the rural you also covered the methodology starting from the reconnaissance survey inflow analysis information gathering team formation approval deweeding dewatering desilting bond strengthening inland and outlet recondi reconditioning silt trap and lagoon plantation and natural sewage treatment system and design aspect based on the site specific condition of the lake one example that is the 80% of water bodies and 20% of the forest native species is used and you also covered the typical layout like the desilting levels burn and the use of desilting material and inlet and outlet of the lakes you also given the several examples of rejuvenation like the nanjipura lake ringipura lake gavi lake and especially the lake rejuvenation in the cascading form and the eight lakes in ayodhya etc minimum or the negligible use of concrete and the natural treatment for the sewage treatment and biofencing these are very good examples and you also supporting the government of up odisha and uh, meghalaya for the same objective you also mentioned the benefits of the lake rejuvenation in terms of the physical biological ecological and the social aspect these are the good example of public participation and the behavioral changes in the water conservation which is a continuous process for the sustainability thank you anand ji for sharing your learned experience and knowledge with us and the lack of the audience who have joined us this time finally i would like to extend the thanks to all of our viewers who have joined us through the various platform and i am confident that these viewers will further disseminate the information gained from this talk thank you once again and over to you anupma ji Thank you, Dikshit ji. Anand ji, I'll also take your permission. Can we share your number with concerned people who are wanting to know, or your email ID, whatever email, you suggest? Email ID is better. <laughs> email ID is better. So Vijay Kumar ji, I could read that you wanted to connect. So maybe I'll share email ID of Anand ji with you, and then you can connect with him. Ah, uh, there are many more people who are wanting to speak to you and connect with you. So eventually, you can write to Mr. Anand ji. We'll share his email ID. and also like i said all your uh, yeah so um, so all your queries will be answered and uh, they'll get their place on national water missions if, uh, if site in the faq section you'll find your replies and uh, with this we come to an end of this thank so much anji for delivering wonderful talk thank you dibesh ma'am for uh, thank you, being with us thank you sir thank you sir, thank you, sir. dikshit program thank you sir dikshit ji sunil kumar ji and all our participants uh, who have so uh, who have made this talk so interesting with their interactive uh, you know participation so uh, please be with us and we'll see you again um, third friday of next month for the water talk thank you thank you all thank you all right